So we're going to look at everything that I've done for Burgle Brothers by Tim Fowers. So this is built off of Farmenstein's 1.1.3, uh, which he did a wonderful game setup. Um, the only thing I added to it was now you can pick between the pro crew and a regular crew. And we'll just go ahead and set up a two-player game real quick. You'll see it automates everything pretty quick. What I've added into this now, so they're the pro crew instead of the regular, so Peterman doesn't get his dice, and the juicer gets her alarm if she wants. Um, the place guard is the same, and the... Um, Destination, I replace the die with a uh, number uh, that will uh, change as the game progresses. You can now um, click to peek, or if you take your character and drop them on a, a place, it will flip it over for you. Um, so we'll just peek here, and you'll see all the things that are happening. Um, Real quick, uh, it's like you load up your um, three cracks. Uh, your add a die for the safe uh, is now a button. You can right click on it to go down if you need to, but you should never need that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I had dice there. Um, you'll see the alarms. When the alarms go, there's a sound effects. It changes the color. Um, and then when the guard actually gets to his spot, it will just automatically send it to the new spot. Um, and every time you hit an alarm, it will draw the piece to that alarm. But you can, if you decide, move the alarm. Um, but when the guard hits that piece, it'll give him a new spot. Turn him off and it goes back to normal. Um, you'll see uh, when you flip the stairs, uh, it will automatically set your stairs up at the next level for you. Um, when you crack the safe, you will get a little bit of a prize, like a little animation. He's staring at us. Let's go, load up. Anything you can find in your pie? Okay. And um, then you'll take, you know, there's a couple, uh, this is a great example, the gold bars. Um, I have added a button onto the gold bar to bring up the other gold bar. Oop, there it is. So now you don't have to go searching through it to find it. Uh, <clears throat> when you do finish the game, um, you take your character, your two characters, and you put them on the landing pad over here, and you get your fun little animation. Um, you know, I'm going to save that for people. Um, but when you finish, you know, put them up here, and you get your your prize. Um, unlike before, I also added um, the rule book. I made it into a PDF. So you can just flip through the pages, um, or if you don't want it, you can just flip it over and it's done. Uh, I gave us rolling areas, so you can actually just roll into here. Um, and that's about it. Oh, oh no, there's one more find the, uh, the hack rooms, um, each hack room, instead of going to grab hacks all the time, um, you can just add hacks here. It only goes up to six, because that's as many as you can have, and it comes down to zero. Um, uh, and it reminds you, left click to add and right click to, uh, to go down. And yes, the alarms know which floors they're on. So, you can see, and then if you click that, boom, there he goes. And that's everything. 
I hope you enjoy it. And if you do play, please leave a comment.